Hi Floss Tube, welcome back. I'm Angela and this is a channel about cross stitching, beaded cross stitching and diamond painting and whatever other craft that I happen to be doing. Um, a little bit of knitting, um, which I'm just learning so I won't have a whole lot to just show you on that, but um, yeah, so it's like kind of a crafting channel, although I'm calling it Floss Tube. Excuse me. Um, I am, it's Monday morning and I am waiting on the air conditioned people to get here who were supposed to be here an hour ago. And um, yeah, we, we got an air conditioned unit to put in, gosh, a couple weeks ago. And although it is making our main living area very, very cold and it works really well, um, it's not it's not cooling in our bedroom as well or in the basement so we don't know why we can't figure it out um, all the vents are open everything and since my husband has been normally I'd be like Ugh, I'll just turn a fan on in the bedroom and it'll get cool enough because I, I can't really actually stand to be cold I also don't want to be hot but there is like a huge degree difference between our bedroom and the main part of our house so it needs to be checked on, especially since it's brand new. So they're late, so I'm just sitting here waiting. So I thought I'd do it. I've started a video. If I cut it off abruptly, it's because they're driving up the driveway. <laughs> okay. So, um, but my husband's been working down in the basement, and he has been saying it's not cooling very well. And so let's see, a couple other things. And you can tell me if this is something that you would be interested in or well okay so this past weekend well actually last wednesday we left and went to the beach for a long weekend because my husband can actually work from since he's working at home he can work from anywhere so he went to the beach for four nights we left on wednesday afternoon and we got back yesterday afternoon which was sunday and we had a really good time. It was very restful. I did some crafting. I took, I, I decided that I would, instead of packing like 10 different bags, small bags, I decided to take one large suitcase and shove everything in there, which actually, which actually worked really well because I could put my, um, my frames in there and my big project bags. And so I had a little corner set up in our condo where I did my, you know, I'd work on my craft and then I'd turn around and I'd look at the ocean. It was very nice. So, um, lucky and very fortunate to be able to get away and still be safe. <laughs> um, we just kind of, we, we hung out in the condo. We slept late. We tried to exercise. <laughs> I tried to go on a walk. I was like, I had like these big like goals. I was like, okay, I'm going to go for a walk around this because it's, where our condo is, it's attached to um, like a, a really, really nice neighborhood area. Um, it's, if any of you have, are familiar with the Gulf Coast and the beaches of 30A, there's an area called Seaside. Well, it's not Seaside, but the houses in this neighborhood look like Seaside houses. They're all like really cute, I mean really, I said cute, they're really, really nice houses. And I think some people live there because it's a gated area, live there full time. I don't see how they could rent them out. And anyway, because they're just, I mean, probably worth millions of dollars, these houses. Not all of them, but, but a lot of them. But they're all like pastel and some of them are on the beach and some of them are back in the neighborhood and you have to like take a golf cart. But, they, but our um, condo is like right next door and we can, I can, it's easy for me to walk around in that area. So I was like, I'm gonna go for a walk for three miles. I'm gonna walk three miles, I'm gonna walk on, which would probably take me like, I don't know, I'm a slow walker, maybe an hour or something. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it every day. So I get out there, and it's in the morning, and I probably walk about 25 minutes and the bottom dropped out of the sky and the rains came and I was completely soaked. I was soaking wet from head to toe. 
So, um, yeah, my walk got touched and I just went back to the condo. I had to change clothes. I had to dry out my tennis shoes. I had to just completely, everything was wet. And so I was like, well, I'm done. And I didn't exercise one single time after that. <laughs> I didn't even walk up and down the beach. I just sat in the chair and looked at the ocean. Now I did walk from our condo to the beach uh, and, and I, um, don't like waiting on elevators. I didn't want to be in the area where there are a lot of people waiting on the elevators. And then people are very cautious, have been very cautious there. So they're not getting on the same elevators as other people. There's three, there's three elevators, but so I just took the stairs every time. And sometimes I had beach chairs and umbrellas and fishing tackle and whatever and I just is like I'm just gonna do it so I, I, I consider that my cardio because going down was easy but going up I was just like <gasps> I mean it was, <laughs> it was it was um it was cardio I mean I was getting a workout so I can I'm considering that my exercise so also, while I was there, I decided, and this is something I, th I may include on this channel or start a different channel. I may start, I think I already have a channel started. I haven't put anything on. I am going to do Weight Watchers or WW or whatever it's called. And so I'm gonna do updates on that, but not probably on this channel. I may start off doing it like once a week. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out, but I've got to lose weight. I've gained so much weight. Um, and I just haven't felt good. Like my back's been hurting, and I, mean, I know a lot of it has to do with our mattress is really old, and we need a new one. But also, I've just, and plus I'm hunching over doing on these crafts, this craft stuff, but I just need to um, get healthier. So I am, I'm gonna start doing that because I figured it'll be, you know, something good for me to do. So let me know if you, would be interested in watching those kind of updates. I want to do it something something like on on a channel, or YouTube, or Instagram, or something, just to keep myself accountable. And 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 that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's all that's going. Oh, and I'm also going to insert a picture somewhere around in this area of um, my little stitchy corner or my crafting corner at the condo. All right, here is the video of my little corner. I've got my coffee and I've got my iPad that I have my pattern on. And then down there is my cross stitch that I'm working on. And then I've got the beaded cross stitch right there. And it's just all ready for me to work on. I've got my little table here set up with my beading mat and my scissors and threads. And then of course I got my funny sign there. How to have a beach body, have a body and go to the beach. It's pretty much what I call a beach body. <laughs> and if I swivel around, then I've got this view of the ocean. And then part of the condo. <laughs> but I do have a good view. And this is just the, not the full view, but just my little area from where I'm sitting. And this is me actually standing up, but there's a storm coming. I think my husband was out in the ocean fishing at that moment. I've got my little chair set up out there so I can go sit outside when I feel like getting a little sun or sitting outside, it was a little too hot at that moment, but it's my cozy little, crafting corner right here and the TV where I can watch TV. Oh, I'm just deciding I'm just going to show you the entire condo. <laughs> this is just the main, there's an upstairs that has the bedroom. So this is just the kitchen and living area. It's not a big condo. It's pretty small, but it is perfect for, for us to get away too where I was doing my stuff. I only took two projects because I mean, my goodness, I only do it in the mornings and then we get busy doing other things. So, but I really enjoy like waking up and making my cup of coffee and just sitting there and 
Sometimes I put the TV on, sometimes I watched YouTube videos, sometimes I just sat there in silence and listened to the waves. I mean, it just depended on my mood. But I wanted to take them just in case, like, you never know, sometimes the weather in Florida, it could be raining like all day long, you know, and it, it did not do that, thankfully. It was just like morning showers. And so I did get some beach time, but um, yeah, I wanted to make sure I had something to do in case we were, you know, there all day because you can only take so many naps. <laughs> and I did that too, by the way. All right, so what I did is I took my cross stitch that I am working on for my son. This is the cro a cross stitch that I started when um, we, in, back in March, okay, when I, uh, when my son came home. I picked one out for him. He is in college. He's in his fourth year in college, but this is uh, based on a movie that my whole family loves and has watched multiple times because it's just a goofy goofy movie it is this pattern is from lindy stitches and it's the napoleon dynamite sampler if any of you've watched napoleon dynamite then you will understand what's on here if you haven't then go watch it <laughs> i mean it's just it's an extremely goofy goofy movie and but it's funny and we like it. And so I was like, I'm gonna do that for you. And so when he was home, when they, when he had to leave college, he actually worked on some of this. And I think I've showed this in another video, but I'm gonna show you again. He actually worked on it. I taught him how to cross stitch and he actually did some of it. And I'm gonna show you what parts he did. But um, this is, and this is done on 14 count Ada. I don't remember, it's a gray color, I don't remember. I obviously don't take the um, hoop off like I should, and I'm working in a, a big hoop because it's just easier for me, and I've started doing it in hand because that's also easier for me because I have to hold it up so close to my face. Okay, so this is this is what I've done so far, and this is what I worked on when I was at, when we were out of town. I finished this computer and I um, did the back stitching on it to give it the detail. And I was actually trying to show my husband, like, see, this is what I did, and that's what the back stitching is that makes it pop and adds dimension. And he's like, yeah, that looks good. So I finished this, and it says, I've been chatting online with babes all day. And then all these other little sections are just parts of the movie. Okay, so I fin this is the part that I worked on, and then I also worked on this part down here, which is these like American flag pants, and it says "Forget about it." Those are the two. Those are the two things I finished. So now I just have to pick another. I guess I'm going to start. I'm not go back over here and start working over in this part. Okay, so. The parts that my, and I, I think that some of these things, I think I finished all the sayings so far. Um, I don't even understand what your mom goes to college. It has to be sarcastic. Your mom goes to college. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember that part of the movie. But um, I had forgotten to do the little cow's ear in white, so I added that on, and I did this one along. This is like the first thing I did. My son, when he was home and had to move back home, you know, for until the end of August, he was actually gonna, let me just back up and say, it, I mean, I know that sounds, I feel bad, but he was actually gonna be coming home anyway. Like he, they made him leave in March, right? Cause they shut down the school, but he was actually gonna be coming home in May because he had an internship. So, so that was just kind of like normal. He did the same, he did what he was gonna, gonna do anyway, but he was so ready to go back to school. But when he first came home, it was right after he went on his spring break, which they, was, they were able to go on, uh, he did this guy right here. He did his shirt, I think he did everything. He did the chapstick, um, part of the chapstick. I did the words in the chapstick. And he did this um, 
It says our underwater ally. I think it's supposed to be like a Loch Ness monster or something. <laughs> Some of this movie, I don't remember. I need to go back and watch it when I'm when I'm working on this. But so yeah, he has worked on some of this, some of this, but he hasn't seen this part. This and I stopped working on it when he was at home because I wanted it to be a surprise. I'm trying to get it finished by Christmas. It's big. I mean, as you can see, it goes all the way down that way. There's like a whole bunch more little pictures. But um, I'm doing it, like I said, on 14 count, and I'm using sulky thread. So I'm using I'm I'm cutting off the sulky and I'm doubling it. So it's, and they say that the sulky is supposed to be like two strands of DMC. So, but I don't think it is, but it just to me, this is giving enough, two strands was giving a good coverage. So I, it's working, it's working. And I've done the whole thing with two strands of sulky thread. And I have, um, I have the whole kit, I've got two of the kits that I bought off Amazon for, it was like a birthday present for myself. And um, there's like a lot of different colors in these collections. And I'm just picking, I'm just kind of picking out the colors. I, I'm going by the chart, I'm not using the colors. I'm just saying, oh, okay, that's kind of close. And then I'll just pick that one because it's what I have. And it's just like all the colors. So there's that, and this again is from, oh, and I have done some of the border, and I need to go back and finish it, but I just decided I was just, I'd wait, because it's just, that's not fun to me. I like to work on the little pictures. So that is the, the cross stitch that I've worked on pretty much since my last floss too. Then the other project I took was the beaded cross stitch which I consider cross stitching. And this is of the, this is a full coverage of the ocean boat, whatever. And um, which I don't know the name of it, but I started working over on this part and I actually took it off the frame and kind of doubled it up and put some clothespins on it and worked on it in the car yesterday on the way home because it's like, it was like a, we got home really fast because we left really early yesterday morning. It only took us like five and a half hours to get back, but usually it's like six and a half, but we didn't, we like missed all the traffic going through Atlanta. So, I mean, that makes a difference. But I did this and I didn't do very much of it. I mean, I like, I started on this, this section right here when we were, when I was at the beach, but I think I only did like two rows in like six hours because I was in the car I was having to, every single bead I did, I got out the package, I picked out a bead, I zipped back the package and put it back. So I was so afraid that they would spill out all over the car. I was, I figured, okay, any progress is progress. And it's just giving me something to do. And I didn't want to sleep because, you know, I didn't want my husband to just sit there, but I did put my headphones on. I didn't go to sleep, but I did put my headphones on and listen to um, an audiobook while I was doing it. So I was I was entertained. Okay, so I do have, and that's 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 really all I've worked on. I do have a another. Well, this is a a, a haul. I guess a I guess you would call haul and new start combined, because this is another. And then I have a diamond painting that um, I got last week. And I'll show it to you when I, um, but I'll have to take it up. It's upstairs and I'll have to do that. I'll have to edit that in. But this, okay, so I got this in the mail. This is a beaded cross stitch. I ordered it the end of June, like the last week of June sometime, and I got it on Saturday. So it came from Russia. And I ordered it off, off, off Etsy. And y'all are gonna know what this is. And the place, okay, the place that I bought it off Etsy, they sell different beaded cross stitches, whatever, beaded embroidery. They sell different ones from I think like different companies. And this one in particular is is from a company called Golden Hands. But I only know this because people have told me I can't read Russian. I can't read it. 
it's too, I, uh, it, anyway. This is going to be 33 by 40 centimeters, and it's something that I'm sure that all of y'all are familiar with. And here's the picture of it. It's Starry Night. Okay. I've never done this in diamond painting or cross stitch or anything. I've never, I've never done this, this um, Van Gogh piece, although I've seen it in so many different, um, so many different forms. Okay. So I decided that I wanted to do this in the beaded cross stitch because it's kind of like a full coverage cross stitch and it may even take, it may even take a little bit, it probably takes longer than cross stitch, but it is less confusing to me and I just can't bring myself to do a full cover. I mean, like part of me wants to, but I've got all these other projects. So maybe if I finish all of them, I'll start on one. I doubt it though, because I really enjoy doing this because to me, I can just, it's just the way my brain works and like all the, on the full coverage, the parking and stuff and just not, I, I'm not, I don't want to do like one color and then go back in and try to fit in because I've tried to do that just with this like Napoleon Dynamite sampler and it's hard to do that, especially because I have like really messy backs and, and sometimes I, I just like knot the thread on the back and so it gets thick. I'm not the neatest of cross stitching or cross stitchers, but I will show you. Okay. So anyway, so I got this, um, beaded cross stitch and it has 40 colors and it came with all these little beads okay and so i went ahead when i got home when i got home yesterday because we got home at like 12 30 after it was early afternoon i was like it was waiting for me and i opened it up i was like i'm kidding it up right now i'm kidding i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start it and so i i did and I, so I've got it started, although I'm already working on so many other ones, but I just like to go ahead and start it just to kind of see how it's going to go. And I did, and I'll show you, and it's on, um, I guess this is 14 count. It's, it does, they do use Weigart. Is that how you say it? There's like a little sticker that even tells you, well, it's like a iridescent sticker, but it has 40 colors. And this is what I've done so far. <laughs> so I know that it's really close to the side here. I don't care because if I do finish this <laughs> and I say, if I, because you know, I'm not really that great at finishing things. Um, I'll probably just take it somewhere and get it framed or I figure I could put it on. I, I will take it somewhere cause I will have spent so much time doing it. I will take it probably somewhere and get it framed. And I figure they could, that's enough for them to work with. Not, I'll figure something out. I'm not really worried about it. Because honestly, I am more of a process stitcher than I am a product stitcher, if that makes sense. Like I just enjoy, I just enjoy doing it and finishing it, but I honestly don't even know where I would put it, like if I framed it. I am gonna frame the one for my son because he's gonna hang it in his room. <laughs> and there are some cross stitches that I think that I would use, but yeah, I'm much more of a process stitcher than a, is that the word you say? A pro, is that how you say it? When you enjoy just the process of doing it and you don't really have a plan for what you're gonna do with it, um, I like, I'm more of that kind of stitcher, for sure. Okay, now, um, Oh, and by the way, I was just going to show you, I've got some of the beads and I've showed you this before, but the little beads, can you even see them? I mean, they're so tiny. And what I do when I, when I work on this thing, um, I, I started on the bottom and instead of going like, just like one row all the way across, I like to work more like kind of like in sections, I guess. And so what I do is I go, I'm still starting like in the bottom left-hand corner and I'm and following the pattern. I'm going up like, um, well, normally it would be 30, like three sections of 10, but since this is the start, there was only like seven down here. But um, I'm gonna go, I'm going up like three sections of 10 
because I so I so I I basically take my bead I like sort out the beads like 10 at a time and then I stitch 10 and I do it this way instead of this way but I'm also moving this way I do it up and down but then I'll also be moving this part this way and then when I get all the way over to the side, I'll come back over here and I'll do these three, or I'll do this three, um, 30 squares or ten, three sections of 10, whatever, and do the same thing. But I'll stitch 30 up and 30 down. 30 up and 30 down, that's how I do it. And every 10 I do, I mark off on the pattern. It works for me. I may be doing it really, it may be really hard, but you know, I don't care. It, I can keep up with that way. I don't get confused. I can, um, I think I might, there might be less mistakes that way if I'm only working with 10. And like when I put them out, I actually will count, make sure I have 10 there. You know, it's like, I know I have 10. So um, anyway, it works for me. Uh, before I, what is the name of this channel? Before I go upstairs and show you my beaded cross stitch, I mean, not my, my diamond painting that I have, I am going to do a shout out. And I wanted to make sure I had the name of her channel right. But I have started watching a YouTube channel and she's, she's pretty new. And her name is Georgia Stitcher, Georgia Stitcher. And what I like about her is that, I mean, she just kind of seems kind of chill. You know, she's from Georgia, first of all, and so am I. So, I mean, that's why, you know, I really like her. But um, she's doing her videos with her her daughters. She has, she has at least two daughters. I don't think, I think, I don't know if that's her only children or no way does she say she may have a stepson but i think the two girls and they're like school age and they're funny and they're very smart and they cross stitch better than i do because <laughs> the last video i think it's um which one is it she just oh well this is the first one i think she's on f her fourth floss tube um Anyway, I like her, and they and the stuff that she's working on is interesting to me, and I like to see what the little girls are doing. And um, anyway, go check her out, Georgia Stitcher. Georgia, oh, I don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering that Georgia Stitcher. Okay, and um, yeah, I'm gonna find. I love to see um, the the flo the floss tubes that are just kind of that are kind of close by. Like I think she, I think she lives kind of, like maybe within a couple of hours from me, and I don't know. It just kind of makes me feel because there's nobody here that I in like in my town or anybody close that I can get together with and stitch with or even understands what I'm doing. I mean, or even has an interest in that. They're just all too busy doing their own thing. I'm just, I mean, I'm just a. A, a mom of two boys who are not here anymore and I'm trying to fill my time so I'm not sad. <laughs> That's why I started doing it and now I'm kind of like, I've just gotten used to it. So who can relate? <laughs> Empty nester. It is good and it's not good, but I'm getting used to it and I'm thankful for the time that I did have with my son. Here at home, I actually am. And everybody's happy now, so, in their lives right now, so I'm happy. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right now and I'm going to go upstairs and I'm gonna show you real quickly the diamond painting that I have. Now, I don't work on the diamond painting every day because it hurts my neck. Because I'm constantly doing that and it just, my neck gets sore. And so I'll only work on it for, I, I just, I love buying them and I love like opening them up and I love like looking at them, but I don't work on them. I have a closet full of them. So I know I said this in my, another video that I'm thinking about actually 
selling some, but I've got to figure out how to do it where I can just roll it up and put it in like a box or a tube or something. I got to see if they have anything that they, they any kind of supplies that they give away free at the USPS if I order them, because I know I've ordered boxes and bags that way. So I'm still working on it. And then like some of them are partially done and I don't know if anyone would be interested in buying a partially finished diamond painting because I'm really good at starting and stopping. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. But I am gonna finish some things. I promise you, I'm gonna finish some things. But I really, really, really enjoy the, um, I'm really enjoying the beaded cross stitch. I don't know why I like it so much. Like I said, I think it's just because it's just like cross stitching, but not, and it's easier for me. So, okay, um, stay tuned. I'm about to, if you wanna, if you wanna move on and just exit out of this video because you're not interested in diamond paintings, then thanks for stopping by. And if you are, then I'll just show you. It's not gonna be like an unboxing, so I've already, I've already unboxed it and everything. I'm just gonna show you what it is, okay? All right, stay tuned. All right, y'all, here is the diamond painting that I'm working on now. And this is called Somewhere Through the Rainbow. And it's, um, by an artist named, I think her name is Maria Abengale. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. But the place I ordered it from is Treasure Studios Art. And this is the very first diamond painting that I've ordered from Treasure Studios Art. And what I love about it is that it is done in full crystal rhinestones. And if you do not know what full crystal rhinestones are, then here is one of the bags. I'm not gonna show you all the colors because that would just take too long. And I have them all like um, kinda going up here some more. They are, they most of them have like a silver backing and they're just so shiny. Anyway, so this is a part that I've worked on so far. You can see right here. See how much shine there is? Yeah, so I love this painting. Um, I love any diamond painting that's done in crystal rhinestones. They're my, it's my, it's my favorite to do. And in fact, I would say the majority of my diamond paintings that I have and that I'm probably gonna hold on to, not get rid of, are just done in this. I love, that's my favorite. And so I just try to order those for the most part. But I love that I had the option to get this diamond painting with the crystal rhinestones because you could also get it with like square or round, I believe. Maybe just round. I'm not really sure if you could get it with every, all of them, but I don't know. I just really, I just really liked her. And she's kind of like this lady in the sea, I guess. I don't know. I just, I think it's, it's called Somewhere Through the Rainbow, but... I feel like it's sea themed because it's got fish and like jellyfish and stars and stuff on it. Uh, yeah, but I do love it. So that's the diamond painting that I'm working on right now. And yes, it's slow going because I just got it last week and then we went, we left, but I am working on it. I'm trying to work on it a little bit every day. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go back downstairs and I'm gonna show you when I finished in knitting. It's real quick, real quick, not a whole lot, just one little one little thing. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how much better I have, well, I feel like I've gotten better at it, but I'm gonna show you the two things that I've completed. All right, hold on. Okay, I am back, and I was gonna show you a little bit of my knitting that I did, and I did some of this actually in the car. I finished up a project in the car, it's not like a a part, it's a part of a project. Okay, so I showed you this the last time, how I finished the blanket square. I'm not even really sure like what side I'm supposed to show you or how it goes. <laughs> anyway, it's a square 
And I'm supposed to be able to sew all these together or knit them together or something and make a blanket. Well, I this is not part of the mystery. It's in like a mystery box that I get every month from Paisley Pearl. Um, Paisley Pearl? Yeah. But um, so every month she sends uh, some yarn and some other little goodies in the box and then like a pattern, a mystery pattern. You're supposed to guess like what it goes to or whatever. But after a year, I believe it lasts a year, then you're supposed to be able to put all the squares together and make a blanket. Okay, so I, this is left over or this was from my beginner kit that I got, which is had some needles and um, some of this purple rain. It's called purple rain yarn. And I had some left. Well, I actually didn't have it left over. I never used it. I just decided to jump back, jump in and just try to make this square as a practice. So this is the very first time I practiced making this square. And it's got big gaps in it, like down here. It's got holes and everything. So that's the first one. But then I made, I started on the one that had the, I started on with the, the, the yarn that came in the mystery box. And I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. And so let me show you, which way am I supposed to hold this? I think it goes this way. It's like there's a pattern it's got it does has like lace in it or something I'm not really sure exactly what it's called but here is the second squared I feel like I did better and then I think it's just because this yarn is different colors whatever that's called you all even know what it's called when it's different colors so there's the other square and it was so much easier to do and you can see like the pat, you can see the little, the lacy, you can see the lace pattern in it, I guess a lot more. But yeah, so there's my, there's my second square or my first square of the mystery box. And I am supposed to be getting the second mystery box sometime this week, I believe. So I don't know what it's going to be or what it's going to look like. But yeah, so after all the squares are knit up, it's my dog getting up, then you sew them together, and then you can put it up, on, uh, use it as a blanket. <laughs> every, every time I show this to you, I'm going to be like, <sighs> okay, because I just, I don't know, I just, I don't want, I want a blanket that I can cuddle up in, and I want to know how to, but I didn't, I, I've never made a blanket, and I'm sure there's other ways to make a blanket so when you knit. I've never done one where you just make squares. To me, that seems a little bit more manageable, but maybe not. Maybe I'll learn how to make a blanket without doing knitting together squares. But I like that it's gonna be different colors. It's gonna be like kind of like patchwork, I guess. I don't know. Is that what it's called when you do a quilt and they're different squares of fabric and it's just all, all put together? Is that called a patchwork quilt? I don't know, but this is gonna be like a patchwork blanket. I'm just gonna call it that until someone corrects me, which I'm sure someone will. And that's okay because I'm learning and I and I and I get it. I need and I need to know these things, I guess. So I I feel like I can actually call myself a knitter now because I did that, and I think I did it correctly. So I've learned how to cast on. I've learned how to I've learned how to um, knit and purl, and. I learned how to cast off and some other things. I can't remember what was in the pattern. Um, I um, asked a lot of questions and I watched a lot of YouTube videos to kind of learn and see. And I just sort of, I just, you know, back up on the videos and watch over and over and over again until I, until I get it. So, all right. So that is the end of this floss tube. <laughs> and I know, I hope it wasn't boring. It probably was because, I mean, I don't really have that much going on right now. I'm still waiting on the air conditioning guy. Let's see. It's been uh, over 30 minutes since I started this video. So now they're an hour and a half late. So I guess, and I was going to exercise. I was going to go down and walk on my treadmill.
but I feel like I can't because I won't be able to see or hear them if they come to the door. Um, so I guess I'll just have to wait. But yeah, don't forget to let me know if you'd be interested in like hearing about my my journey to lose weight. <laughs> Like I said, it's really, I would love to lose weight, but it's just so I feel a little bit better. And, um, you know, I've just been, um, I'm getting older, so everything starts to hurt now. And it's just one of those things where I know that I want to take care of myself now. So when I do get older, that it's not as big of a problem. So, but yeah. Let me know if you'd be interested in hearing about that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you the next time I have a chance to make a video, which I hope is next week, and show you some more, pro hopefully I'll be able to show you some more progress on um, some of my cross stitch. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.